suffer from black note overwhelm in your practice? What if you made your practice sessions more multi-sensory? How much more engaging and effective would your practice be? Today, I will show you three ways that you can do that to make your practice more effective, more creative, and go deeper, faster than you ever thought. Let's take a well-known piece, Beethoven's Furlis. Our first step is to take a section of it. So let's chunk it. Next, start to think as a painter would. If you're going to paint a landscape, you would notice the contour, the shape, where the hills go up and where the valleys go down. Take a look at this excerpt from Verlies and trace it with your pencil. See the ebbs and flows of that phrase. Notice things like shading, mood, texture. Now you will plan your stroke just like a painter would. Start to imagine it from your very first note to the last note of your section. Next, plan your choreography. Just like in ballet, you have a choreography to get from one section of the music to the next. We also have a choreography when we play piano and that choreography is rotation. I go in depth about that in my golden tone technique course, but take a look how you can use your hand to rotate from your first note to the last and create for you that instant contour. The last step is to employ your fingertip as a paintbrush because after all, we use our fingertip to initiate sound the same way that an artist uses a paintbrush to spread the paint on the canvas. So your fingertip should be, for most control, rounded and firm. It shouldn't have any give. That way, when you employ rotation, plus the firm fingertip, you can create incredible pianistic landscapes, shape and contour with your dynamics and have unlimited range of power and ease of execution. It's a well-known fact that we learn faster when we use more of our senses. So employ the creativity inside you. Start to see music in pictures. Start to imagine the textures. Start to feel the sensation in your fingertips, that one stroke. And you will then open up new channels, new pathways for the brain, the heart, and the ear to intake and create these beautiful musical landscapes from your very first note when you start learning a piece. I hope this has been helpful. For more tutorials, check out my YouTube channel. And for in-depth training on rotation, please go to thegrandmanner.com. Please share how this has opened up a new pathway towards learning. What piece will you try it out on? I'd love to know. In the meantime, happy practicing.